What's going on, everybody? GlitcherBuds23 here. Yo, real quick before the video begins, I know y'all guys are probably getting tired of me saying that, but this was originally supposed to come out yesterday, and what had happened was I recorded it, I did my full reaction, looked back at the editing, and it was completely lagging. The whole video, the commentary, everything was lagging. I don't know what was the problem. Could have been because I had another tab open. Um, it could have been me just having the laptop plugged in for too long. I don't know what it is. But I, basically what I'm trying to say is I already know what the song's about. I remember some of the lyrics. But I'm just going to let y'all know this isn't like... This is a, a first take reaction. So, but enough of that. Run the jewels. Close your eyes and count them. Featuring Zach De La Rocha. Y'all guys told me a lot about this one in the last video, which he was a... Um, uncredited feature on he was the last verse of the last reaction that we did to run the jewels so I basically know what this song is about in the video behind it but I'm still going to explain it as if it's a first take reaction but enough of that let's get on into it the gray and black videos bro that's how you know it's about to be a deep meaning video Before we start, I just gotta say, I am so mad at the fact that it was a failed reaction. The original was a failed because I said this was my favorite Run the Jewels track I've heard so far. Y'all guys are really picking up what I'm trying to see from this group, and I really do appreciate the uh, the honesty in the comments. I really do. Run them jewels fast, run them, run them jewels fast, run them, run them, run them, run them, run them, run them, run them fuck the slow mo. See, so a simple chorus like that from Zach De La Rocha, I love it because it's very, it's very catchy. It's very catchy. Run As a slave, you protested to get in a fucking look book. Everything I scribbled like the anarchist book book. Fast as slave to protest again in the look book. And then that next line is a great follow up. To get in a fucking look book. Everything I scribbled like the anarchist book book. Everything I strip is like the anarchist cookbook. Come on, bro. And then the meaning behind this whole video is basically what's still happening in parts of the world right now with the whole police brutality, Black Lives Matter movement, you know. It's all it's all like represented in this video, you know. This bad dirty cops, you know. Black on black on black on a ski mask, that is my crook look. It's just a stereotype that people see, you know? And it is, it, most of the time it is kind of true. Like my styling, bro. Ain't nobody styling, bro. Not to turn this motherfucker up like Rikers Island, bro. Where my fathers and my cripples and my blooders and my brothers. When you niggas gonna unite and kill the police motherfuckers? Or take when are my brothers gonna unite together and kill the police? Come on, bro. Like, there are some people who, like, some who like honestly don't care about this whole movement thing and it's like if you're true to, if your true loyalty is towards African Americans you'd be helping them in any case scenario you know but some people just stand back and watch over a jail get up see your tail the burning of that sofa god damn I love the smell like it's a pillow fortune where the fuck the warden and when you find them we don't kill them we just water board them we killing them for freedom cause they tortured us for boredom and even if some we kill them for freedom cause they tortured us for boredom I didn't even hear that the first time I did not even hear that the first time we killing them for freedom cause they tortured us for boredom And even if some good was that fuck it, the Lord will sort them we, we out of order Even if something good was to happen, the Lord will sort them uh, I, There's so much more I'm catching in this verse And Killer Mike's bars right here That I did not even 
that flew over my head the first time. This is kind of one of the good things about failed reactions is the fact that I get to catch more. But the bad thing is I don't have that excitement as if I heard the first one, as I, I heard it the first time. Hey, your honor, you out of order. This old court is unimportant. You fuckers are walking corpses. I'm a flip wig standing and living with... And then right there, um, he said, he said, this courtroom's out of order and y'all are just walking corpses, I think. Hold on, one minute. And even if some good was that, fuck it, the Lord of Sodom. We, we out of order, your honor, you out of order. This old court is unimportant. You fuckers are walking corpses. I'm a We're out of order, honor. You're out of order. You think this courtroom's important? Then y'all have... What, what do you say? Hold up. You out of order. This whole court is unimportant. You fuckers are walking corpses. I'm a this whole courtroom is unimportant, and you guys are just walking corpses. There is so much more meaning behind this video and the lyrics that you hear. It, it's it, it it's it's too deep and it's too real. A flip wig standing there, living within distortion. A bite into a cyanide molar before you wars win. I'm a New Yorkie and I'm fucked for the jump. I wear my Yankees so tilted, I actually walk with a hunch. Look oh, at my. I didn't even hear that the first time. He said he was a New Yorkian and then he, he mentioned he wears his Yankees. Oh my god. That's. Oh. That flew by my head last time. Yeah, I think it might be we are sinister sons. Hey, we the type of type to preach it with a grin and a grin and a Come on, come on. We the type to run up the preacher with a grin and a gun. See, the thing, like, I think because of the way I was introduced to Run the Jewels, I didn't understand the very first song. There was apparently, from what you guys are telling me, a very deep meaning. From the first reaction I did, which was walking in the snow, I believe. Um, and I didn't know what they were about. So maybe that's one I have to go check out again, you know? A wise man once said, we all dead, fuck you. Just spit a disgusting youngin' and hold your nuts while you gunning. I listened, tatted a sentence on my dick last summer. Now I'll never get that phrase off my brain, it's no wonder. I'm here to buy hearts, I got hundreds. Honey, the cheaper the parts, the better buy for the money. I'm trained. The cheaper the parts, the easier to buy for the money. Or to sell for the money. You know, if you could just scam, scandal it. Say these are good parts get more money basically you gotta do what you gotta do to to just make it by you know in a vagina whispering glistening waiting for the christening i know the neighbors can't help but listening uh, a dirty boy who come down on the side of dissonance i can't even relax without sirens off in the distance not shitting you little i can't even relax without hearing sirens off in the distances I, I love what LP stands for. I really do. Like, I feel like him and... I've said it from, like, the second reaction. I feel like him and Killer Mike are just on a whole nother level together. They finish each other's flows. They have, they have crazy, honest bars. LP's produ producing is incredible from all the tracks I've heard so far. You know? Like, it's just, like... It's just, I just think it's incredible. There are white rappers uh, more than what I thought who actually speak up and do and do something about do something about how African Americans are treated unfair and especially in this country. Nobody, this fucking island's a prison. The only solace I have is to act a conjugal visit. My solitary condition preventing conjugal well, visits. Domain and missing my misses. They keeping me from my chilling conditions. Create a villain. The villain is giving vision. The vision becomes a vow to seek vengeance on all the vicious liars. The villain is giving a vision. The vision becomes a vow to see. Uh, I haven't. I, I was talking about. I was stuck on this bar for a minute. Create a villain. The villain is given vision. The vision becomes a vow to seek vengeance on all the vicious liars. And 
Revenge is so loud, it's vicious. Come on, dude, that's 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 clever writing right there by Killer Mike. Politicians, prophetists of the prisons, the forehead engravers, and slavers of men and women, including members of clergy that rule on you through religion. So strip, we'll strip your kids, your kids, kids to the, the nude and then tell them them God will forgive them. Give them. Oh, I didn't hear that. To the strippers, to the people who go do, tell them that God will forgive them. Because apparently, like, if you're super religious and you do... I don't know what the whole deal is with that, but if you, like, have premarital, premarital sex or something like that, it's, like, super religious, like, to Christ some Christians, you know? So that's what he's saying. Just forgive people, like... Forgive, like, people who do stuff like that and are part of a very religious background. It's Dana on the cut, looking six on your stitching crew. I'm miles ahead of you. You can sit my bitches through. My battle status is burning matches from Dallas to Malibu. Check my resume, your residence is resident. Check my resume, your residence is resident. That's that's uh that's the same word, but two different meanings behind it. That's so oh my god. And I think I may have discredited Zach Zach's verse in the last reaction. You know, I want to have to like I said, I think I believe I said it in that reaction. That's one I have to definitely check out again. And I said it in the fail reaction about this one. But now that I'm checking out again, I'm starting to understand more bars, more deeper meaning behind this whole song in general, so. He says, we're, we're done bleeding out. Eventually... I'm just gonna have to kill you. That's basically what he's saying right there. Clips in the bottom, we dip and we got them. Yes, it clips by the shadows of dark dance in the coffin. I'm a fellow with melanin, suspect of a felony. We black rock in my law. Feds is checking my melody. Less aggressively testable. Bomb stretches and penalties. Dump cases we're facing the cop. Please, when we season a pump with reason to dump on you, global. He says, cop, please try to understand. Like, all of us are not bad. Y'all guys are putting these, like, you're giving us these criminal records. Not all of us are bad. Like, and some, some are, but most of the time, they have to do what they have to do to survive out here, you know? Because not everybody has it easy. You know, some of the cops, the cops are one of the scariest people on this planet because they are allowed legally to bear arms, you know, and I get everybody is allowed to bear arms, but some people can't have, can't, um, have custody of a gun because of certain issues within the law, you know, something they did wrong or something that they were accused of, you know, so, cops are scary, dude, especially in them dirty ones. Grand dragons, still piling fast bucks, Afghani toe tagging. Now they tracking me, yeah, we busting back to see the only thing that closed quicker than our caskets be the factory. Only thing that closed faster than our caskets and them, them factories. Fuck the slow mo. These fools have been fighting all day, all night, and now it looks like it's about to be sunrise, and they're just in a random person's house. This motherfucker out of breath. <laughs> And then another night goes by. Like I said, that one is the best Run the Jewel song I've heard so far. Y'all did y'all did good suggesting this one. Zach De La Rocha, 
slaughtered his verse. LP and Killer Mike. That was, that that was a. They did perfect on their verse. They did perfect. I feel like that you can't. This one is a hard one to top. This one's gonna be a hard one to top, in my opinion. But yeah, let me, let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You guys want more Run the Jewels as individual artists or as a duo? Let me know in the comment section right now. Y'all want more from Zach De La Rocha? Let me know. Um, later today, for y'all guys, there's gonna be a Run the Jewels feature. This is the first time we're gonna see him featured on a song. Go ahead and be sure to check that one out. And yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all next time.